Peter. How are you How doing? You doing? Nice, to see you. nice to see you as well. Uh, congratulations on the film. Oh, thank you. First and foremost, how excited are you to be back in the cinema with the community and back at the festival, given we haven't done it for a long time? It's great to be at the pictures, isn't it? And also this particular cinema is such a lovely cinema. But just generally, yeah, just to get into a, a screen and some popcorn, the noise going on, it's lovely. Not too much popcorn. Though. Are you a sweet or salted man? Um, sweet. Oh, yes. Uh, I like a mix myself, but never mind. I'm like that. Um, working with Terence Davis, I mean, he's such a formidable force of nature as a... Oh, sellotape. <laughs> he's such a formidable force of nature as a filmmaker. What was it like working with him and being amongst him and watching him, his process and how he makes these amazing films? I'm, I'm a huge fan of Terence, so I was just thrilled uh, to be asked to do this. Um, and just to see him work is incredible because he does it his own way. He has his own way of working. He has uh, uh, such a, an acute sensibility about the way things look and the way things feel and the rhythm of things. Uh, and it's wonderful to have a director like that because you can just give yourself over to them completely. If you trust them, which I do, because I, I think he's possibly uh, you know, our greatest living director. Um, so whatever he wants to, me to do, I'll do. And a testament to him as a director that he's able to bring such an incredible ensemble together. It just, it just shows just, just how desperate people are to, to work with him and want to be part of his uh, projects. Well, he's the real thing. You know, he's an artist who works in film uh, and he also has a, a, a very deep uh, connection with our culture, with Britain and its history, uh, how it comes to be the way it is. Uh, he, he, he belongs to us and we should cherish him and we should be uh, very um, protective of him uh, because he's there. <laughs> they are very few and far between in this business, directors of the stature. And what drew you to this story and this, and this character? Because it's a period that we've seen a few times, but in Terence's, under Terence's guidance, it feels fresh and new and interesting. Yeah, well, it was Terence that, that, that drew, drew me to it. If he'd wanted to make, you know, uh, a biography of, I don't know, uh, anybody, I would have, I would have done, done it. Um, he's... Um, Okay. Uh, that was a terrible answer. <laughs> Actually, when you said it, all I was thinking of was uh, imagining Terence Davis's Suicide Squad. That, I mean, would you, you'd gone to that, wouldn't you? Been a bit different. Yeah. If, if Terence <laughs> wanted to make a superhero movie, I'd be there as well. I'd love to see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever he wants to make, I'm happy to be in it. And you've had a you've had a fantastic year with with this and a few other projects. Obviously, Suicide Squad. Uh, you were fantastic in. It was really working with James Gunn. Must have been so much fun, so colourful. Yeah, totally this was different. Was a really because I did I finished that in January. January of uh, 2020 and then we did this in, tw in the, the little gap between the two lockdowns but we were about to do this and then the first lockdown prevented it but because we were, uh, the sets were there and we were up and running we were able to jump in and do it so it was very weird moving from James who again is an extraordinary filmmaker mm. again with a very profound vision of his own um, I felt very blessed to be working at, at these different ends of the scale, as it were. Yeah, and just, just finally, obviously you're going to watch this with, a, with an audience tonight. The, the energy is so unique in the cinema community. Yeah. How excited are you to, to see it with an audience and to get their reactions when for a year and a half they've been watching it on their phones or on their laptops? I think it's very important for people to see things in the cinema because it has, it, 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 it lends a kind of life, a kind of energy that doesn't happen when you, when you watch alone. It's lovely to, to feel people's reactions, to hear people reactions and have the sense that it's a communal experience um, so I'm delighted that it's, we're going to see it on the big screen in front of real life people pleasure talking to you as always thanks so much for your time have a good evening thank you ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh is that from the Goonies nice hey